$9.98. So I'm getting it for $9.98. What's going on everybody? We're doing an impromptu toy hunt today. I got a good lead on a gold label Catwoman and I'm not going to miss out on it if I can get it. Oh my god. If you're watching this and you like the content, please like the video, please subscribe. Thank you very much. We're so close. Oh my gosh. I made it. Right in the flesh, check it out. We've got tons of these Ninjago Rangers as well. I wonder if these Billies have any better paint. Yeah, they seem to all have the same defect in the brow, right near the bandana. Ew, look at that one. That is even worse. This is the best one that I've seen so far. Look at that, that's the cleanest. If they're gonna charge this much, you think their QC would be just a little bit better. I don't know, what do you think? All right, just to give you guys a slight little wide view of everything. Gotta let my heart rate come down a little bit. Check it out. These clay faces are hidden shells as long as these Titan Jokers. Very nice. Looking forward to that Killer Croc. I don't really care about the Titan Joker, but the Killer Croc looks pretty dope. All right, let's check out the Nega section. Actually, check out the clearance real quick. They want $13.99 for this flash. That's not bad. I've seen these for cheaper, but... Hmm. I wonder if this has anything to do with Ezra Miller in his situation, maybe. Oh, I love those speed effects. Really nice. Check it out. Eleven twenty-four. Yeah, you're coming home with me. This is definitely a standout deluxe figure, I think. Even if you don't like the movie, this figure is super nice. Alright, and we got some more clearance. Oh boy, the moment of truth. Have you come down in price? Let's go check it out. Check it out. We were successful. Half off now. That's crazy. You're definitely coming home. We have an Imperial Death Trooper here. For anyone that's looking for these. 1101 Jackson, West Jackson, Chicago, Target. Check it out. I am not getting into Star Wars, but I am just letting you guys know what's out there. And what Target wouldn't be complete without their Lando? Oh, there's only two left too. People, I guess, have been buying them. Hmm. And then we got this armor, armor, <laughs> retro figure from Kinner. Pretty nice, very like Super 7-like, but a lot cheaper. Is this new for Masters of the Universe? I don't think I've seen him before. Well, it's got this kind of like flame effect, or like effect, power effect, I don't know. It looks pretty menacing. It's got the He-Man sword? Hmm. Skelegod, oh my gosh, that looks intimidating. Oh, check it out. Guess somebody had second thoughts. This is a really nice set. Just look at all the accessories. Jeez, they just went nuts. Additional arms for a wedding dress. The amulet. So, I don't even know what that is. Champagne. Man. Turkey baster. I don't know if you guys have seen these new Hot Wheels Star Wars premium figures, or select Starship selects, I should say. But they are really, really nice. Great paint on these, for sure. The uh, only one I would probably buy out of this is the X-Wing, because obviously, being a Star Wars noob, that is the thing that I like the most. So, guys, it looks like Eternals figures are now completely out of target systems. Well, at least at this location. I don't know what this means, but adios. For some reason, America Chavez is still 1924. When Doctor Strange is under 14 bucks, I don't get that. At all. Somebody please explain that to me. I don't know. The next section. This is supposed to be a blind box, but you can definitely feel the weight that that could accurately be the depicted figure. And this guy looks pretty big, and the weight is definitely heavier. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a very bad blind box. All right, do a quick walk through of the NECA section, so you guys see the scale and the scope, and then I'll go in for a closer look. This place is pretty stacked. All right, had to go grab a basket because my hands are full. All right, we are stacked with McFarlane. This guy is the non go label version. The new Pegworm, I would say. 
It's, um, it's Gundam. I never tried these before. This is pretty cool. I wonder if you could paint these. Are they already pre-painted? Oh, it looks like they're pre-painted. Okay, cool. I've seen the Super 7s coming down in price for sure. People are definitely not paying that almost $20 price tag for these now. All right, and these Naruto's. Oh, these were very popular. People were doing the, I guess, the... I guess some type of diorama with the Naruto's for the duplicate jutsu or something like that. I'm not, I'm, I'm not very good with the lingo, but I think that's what they were using it for. So these appear to all be, I think this is the older Naruto. This is not Kid Naruto, so I think they want the Kid Naruto. Check it out, we got another crow. Man, I can't believe this is like 12 bucks, that's crazy. Such a cool looking figure, even if you don't care about the movie, it's like 12 bucks. I mean, just look at the detail that they put into the sculpt. And then the paint job, this is definitely an exceptional Marvel legend, I would say. And we got some of these Gunslinger spawns. I got a review coming out today for this one. If you guys are at all curious about him, I would recommend picking him up. He is a lot of fun, and he does suffer from a little bit of box distortion. He looks a lot better out of the box. And those eyes are just so insane. Cool, cool. And we got Psychor. I just picked up the 1998 variant, or version of him. I'm going to do a comparison soon. But he looks great. The, the older one looks, I mean, amazing as well. I think they did a decent job for the articulation and balance between that and the detail. For sure. Oh, wow, check it out. Darth Vader model kit. Oh. This looks pretty cool. Whoa. That is nice. I bet it's like 40 bucks. Yep, you don't even need glue either. Just need those nippers. Nippers. <laughs> oh, check it out. They've got this prototype alien suit. I have not seen this in store. This is definitely new. Whoa. Man, all the other figures in this line are Parker is so expensive. Ripley obviously is the most expensive one. And then man, the rest are a little bit easier to find. This one I have not seen yet. As far as we go with the NECA. Check it out. Pretty standard stuff, nothing too crazy. We got. Okay, part two. Oh, Still falling, guys. We got Frankenstein, the colored Frankenstein. Actually, that's the colorless. We got Ultimate McCready. It's been on the shelf for a while now. I got both of the variants. Cool figure, haven't unboxed them yet. We got tons of these Friday the 13th Part 3s. Still a great figure, it might end up being a peg warmer, but I think they did a great job with this. The, just the overall look and the head sculpt is crazy. Got real hair there. And the char in this sweater, oh man, that is so sick. I know I've shown you guys this before, but I just can't get over that. I'm gonna show you guys what they got on the sides. Cause I know people are like, you didn't look at everything. I'm like, I will look at everything guys, give me a chance. Just picked him up the other day, super nice. Haven't unboxed him yet. I haven't unboxed any of my alien or predator figures actually. I, I'm moving in a little bit, so I just haven't had the time, and I don't, I'm gonna wait till I get a more permanent setup. And I show you guys some more stuff that's back here. We got Hellraiser, a bunch of Ultimate Marty McFlies, which definitely the price you drop on these if you expect these to move because they're a little bit older at this point. Uh, these City Hunter Predator 2s. Actually, I picked up the Battle Damage Predator uh, from Predator 2 because it's more of a complete package. Oh, check it out. We have the Friday the 13th, the final chapter, Jason. Oh, man. That is nice. These have some of the most accessories for any NECA figure that I've seen, I think. Definitely. Oh, look at that. The wine bottle opener. Wow. Two alternate head sculpts. I think both the masks are removable on both of them wrong. Got the hacksaw, machete, and axe. Man, Jason is ready. He's got two knives. A a meat cleaver and then a chopping knife. Wow. Oh, he can even implant the butcher knife into his head. That is grizzly. And then we've got the Ultimate Ash Evil Dead. I'm not going to get into this just yet. A couple more series I want to complete before I get into the Evil Dead series. There's quite a few of these. But it is definitely a great sculpt of Bruce Campbell for sure. Definitely. So it almost looks like a lot of the Marvel Legends here are on clearance. Wow. Um, and there's no new SKUs to replenish what's, uh, you know, what's being replaced for Marvel Legends. So, I don't know. I wonder if we're going to see anything for Miss Marvel. I wonder if we're going to get any type of Marvel Legends figure for Miss Marvel. I know they have the Game Reverse Miss Marvel figures, but that was, was kind of, eh. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. I have no idea. Now we got some fig pins. Oh man, look at that beast. That looks pretty cool. And then just the rest of our Star Wars. 
Transformers. Yo, check out these Marvel shirts. These are so cool. Whoa. And this periodic table of Marvel characters is pretty cool. Oh, this one. Wolverine. And, oh, that's nice. Whoa, these are real nice, man. Over here. Some more. Like 12 bucks, too. Oh, and there's even more down here. Good, too. Just a shield, like a vintage look. Oh, they got Venom, too. Oh man, and more. It's a classic Spider Man. Looks like a TV show. Nice. That is a cool green, or yellow, I should say. Oh, so I managed to snag that gold label Catwoman for $9.98. Who's good? I'm the man. <laughs> so we also picked up the Eternals Crow figure, $11.98. And then we also picked up the Defender Strange for half off, it was like 16 bucks, under 16 bucks. And then I picked up that Demon Hunter figure, Demon Slayer, um, like the anime, so whatever, I'm kind of an impulse spender. Thank you guys for watching, please subscribe, please like, please comment, please let me know what you guys think about the videos, let me know what I can do to improve them, and if there's any particular things you wanna see, let me know, you guys have a great day. Check out my review for the new Gunslinger Spawn, well not new Gunslinger Spawn, but Gunslinger Spawn. My take on the, the figure, uh, it's coming out later on today. Check it out, please. Thank you. You guys have a great day. I'll catch you later.